Hi folks, today I wanna to talk about something that I've been doing for years and it's very easy. This is gonna be a very quick video and it's putting all of your media files onto a hard disk drive and then watching them on your TV. Now, this is an excellent way to store your home movies, any video projects, just or just random video clips of your family, especially if you have kids like I do. I make tons of home movies that I don't want anybody to see except for me and my family. And eventually I will give them to my kids, but I store them all on these and almost, almost every TV nowadays, uh, well, a lot of TVs nowadays, have the ability to play this directly from here, MP4 files onto the TV. So let me show you how to do this. For this example, I'm using a 32 inch Samsung smart TV. And as you can see back here, you have a specific USB port with HDD SV1A. I don't know what the SV1A means. I am using a Western Digital Easy Store uh, hard drive on this. The other concern is what do you do with it if it's say hanging on the wall? There seems to always be an, a hard disk drive that will be compatible with either simply fitting it in here like so. Now this one will fit. This larger one will not, but this is the one I keep downstairs. This one will actually rest on top of the wall mount for the 70 inch TV downstairs. So, you know, if it's a if it's a wall mount like this, get a thinner one. If you've got a huge wall mount that has plenty of spots to set one of these in the back, that'll work. Or worst case, get an extension for your USB and you can store it wherever you want. So now you go to source on your remote. As you see here, here's USB, that's where I'm going. All of my folders and files are on here. So all the way back to 2016. And you can see how I label them, fall, fall, Easter. So this is how I separate all of my movies and my family movies so we can watch them at the push of a button on the television now i go a little overboard here because i do this on youtube so i make <laughs> it's got a pumpkin patch i make basically full featured home movies all with the graphics and everything on my software so for example you want to just sit down with your kids pull up hey let's look at Christmas 2020 where is that if we want to go Christmas 2018 push of a button Easter 2017 so you get the point here it's literally that easy to do and a couple important things to know here or to think about one is your resolution if you have a 1080p TV it won't play 4k video files uh, however, if you have a 4K TV, which most TVs nowadays are over a certain size, I think actually almost all of them, it will it'll play 1080p and upscale to 4K or whatever, or, or you know it'll play it. Another thing to think about is the bit rate. If you're using home software to make these movies, which I do all the time, a lot of people do, then you have to be careful the bit rate. Sometimes if you get that bit rate up too high, then it will cause problems with uh, it won't be able to play it'll be too the file will be too large and it won't play but other than that store all your movies on these hard drives and at the push of a button it's awesome to watch with your kids just out of out of whim we'll just be sitting there one day and my daughter will say hey do you remember uh christmas in 2019 uh, when i got this or did this i'm like no i don't okay we'll watch the video we'll see it it's like a, it, we, we go all the way back to, actually we have their birth videos on those. That's how far back it goes. And uh, our Vegas trips, our all of our family trips, you know, I got all this video stuff. Of course, I'm gonna document everything. That's kind of what I do. And it's so fun and it's just uh, really rewarding as a parent to be able to just click through and go back and just see all these special moments in our lives. And uh, it's pretty cool. So I would absolutely recommend doing this. Uh, and, the, and we're coming up on a holiday here, Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving, you'll be able to find these things for half price. Uh, this is a four terabit and it connects to the TV no problem. I don't know how big you can go, but I've got I've got two terabits. I got one, I got 500 gig. I, I got all sorts of these. I've probably got 12 of these around the house. 
and uh, they're hooked to all sorts of TVs and I back them up and it's just, it's an awesome way to store your personal videos, your family videos and have access to them all the time. But that's it, quick, easy, and super effective. If you're not doing this, I would highly recommend it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, uh, subscribe and have a fantastic day.